Puerto Rico is not alone in coping with the aftermath of two hurricanes. The U.S. Virgin Islands were also left in ruin. I spoke a short time ago with Governor Kenneth Mapp and began by asking where things stand there. We're moving out of rescue and, and into recovery. We've uh, received tremendous provisions and support from the, our federal partners. Uh, we're now talking about and beginning the process of covering and sheltering folks in homes that lost roofs. Uh, we've cleared a, a good bit of debris out of the road system, and we're working on getting the power distribution system up. That's going to be a long haul. We're planning on bringing 400 linemen from the U.S. mainland to help us uh, in that regard, sign those contracts. We are talking and looking at how we're going to begin to open schools. Our, our children have not been into school uh, for the school year for any imaginable parts, and so we're planning on how we're going to, you know, merge schools and, and get the children back in school in October. So we're, we're moving out of rescue and into recovery, getting the businesses open, um, getting the lights on and, and, and doing what we do after we have these <laughs> damaging hurricanes. So what would you say your greatest needs are right now? Infrastructure development, uh, uh, help in terms of building the power systems up, uh, help in getting the road systems back up and functioning. We really have to work with Congress on getting the hospitals rebuilt, um, getting schools rebuilt. Uh, so I'm, I, you know, I'm making those. I'm having those discussions with our, our federal partners, the White House, and our friends in Congress. So much of the focus, uh, it seems, in the last days, have been on Puerto Rico, uh, larger population on that uh, U.S. territory. Has that affected what you and the Virgin Islands have been able to get done? Uh, not. I would say no. I, we feel for our brothers and sisters in Puerto Rico. Um, they've just been really devastated, and, and you know, we had. A, after Irma, we had a contingent of their National Guard uh, uh, troops on the island helping us here, and our general uh, escorted them back home and met with the tag over there. And you know, whatever we can do to help them, they're just in. It's just uh, they just really need help, and any any quickness in terms of getting the supplies into their communities and to their people is what's really going to make the big difference. And finally, what about the state of health care, your hospitals, your clinics in the Virgin Islands? Hospitals are blown out. Uh, for all intents and purposes, we're just using covered parts of the emergency room. Mobile hospitals are now being constructed on the front lawns of the main hospitals. And we've evacuated all of the folks that were admitted to the hospitals, people who come and the doctors requ uh, require, say that they require admittance, we simply evac them out. We've evac'd out our uh, patients requiring dialysis services, and those hospitals are going to have to be rebuilt from the ground up. Well, Governor Kenneth Mapp of the Virgin Islands, I know so many Americans have been thinking about you and, and uh, everyone uh, there affected by these terrible storms. Thank you very much for talking thank with you, us. Thank you, Judy, so much for uh, spreading the word out for the American citizens all of us living in these territories. Thank you so much.